This is Fred. He's one of thousands of FAO personnel in over 150 offices around the globe, working to achieve a world without hunger. Fred understands that being part of FAO carries a lot of responsibility to behave ethically at work and in his private life too. It's a bit like wearing many different hats to help people recognize who he is and what he represents. FAO's code of ethical conduct helps Fred choose the right hats for every situation. At home, he wears his dad hat, setting a good example in his neighborhood by treating his wife and children with love and respect. He wears his social hat around friends and family, but as an FAO ambassador, he avoids situations that could be misinterpreted or could lead to violent or inappropriate behavior. And when it comes to political discussions, he prefers to stay neutral and careful about what he shares in public. When commuting to work, Fred wears his driver's hat, obeys the traffic rules, and is always courteous to other motorists. At the FAO office, Fred wears his respect for all hat and does his best to treat everyone fairly, no matter where they come from or what their status is. Out in the field, Fred wears his administrator's cap to gather accurate information and record data. He also makes sure the sensitive information on his laptop is protected. When it comes to dealing with donors and service providers, Fred wears his ethical hat. He doesn't accept gifts or favors and always checks to see if there are any conflicts of interest before signing new contracts. Fred also has his Speak Up hat ready, just in case he witnesses any safety issues or unethical behavior. He knows he can share his concerns with someone at the office of the Inspector General or in the Ethics Office. Because Fred knows all the rules in the Code of Ethical Conduct, he has no trouble choosing which hat to wear in each situation. But occasionally, he faces an ethical dilemma, where he might be tempted to take off his hat and behave in a way that could put FAO's reputation at risk. When this happens, Fred knows he can reach out to the friendly FAO ethics officers who can help solve the dilemma and protect FAO's reputation at the same time. As Fred's colleagues here at FAO, let's follow his example by confidently wearing our hats so we can continue pursuing our goals at work and in life with integrity, transparency, accountability, and plenty of positive energy. Together, we can do what's right, every day in every way.